Hey guys, so today I wanted to explain to you how to create your own kombucha start without having to purchase one or get one from a friend. The simplest way I know to start a kombucha start is just to buy some kombucha. You should br drink most of it, leave like that much in the bottom and then set it in a warm place. I have about that much left in the bottom. Um, in order to keep from cross-contaminating things, don't just drink out of the bottle when you drink it, pour it into a glass, but I wish I could show you my mother. I'll see if I can show her to you. Can you see that little thing floating on the top? That's my mother. It's already started. So what I'm going to do is because this is a small bottle, I'm going to make up a quarter of a batch of my black tea. You want to use a black tea and cheap is cheap is cheap is just fine. The only thing is you don't want it to have any oils or additives and it. it needs to be just tea leaves. Okay, so don't overthink this. What you're making is a strong sweet tea. Proportions are not the most important thing. All it needs to look like is tea and it needs to taste a little sweet. If it tastes, um, if it doesn't taste strong, if it doesn't taste sweet, you need to add some more. You, when you make your tea, make sure that you bring the water up to a boil, put the tea bags in, let them set until they cool. You don't want to add hot tea to your kombucha start. It needs to be room temperature. While your tea is still warm, after you fish the tea bags out, it's kind of like you're making a really strong iced tea kind of tea. You let the tea bags sit in there until it cools, then you pull the tea bags out, you put your sugar in while it's still warm, stir it really well, let it sit for a minute, let it come down to room temperature and then you can pour it in. Don't pull it, pour it in all the way to the top because you are gonna have some carbonation. So now it is cooled down. The optimum temperature for kombucha is about 85 degrees. So in the summer, it works well on a high shelf somewhere that you don't have a lot of air conditioning. If it's winter, putting it next to your wood burning stove, not next next to it, but somewhere in the general vicinity of your wood stove, it's kind of like yogurt. That's the temperature it kind of likes to be at. You don't want to be having a lid on it while it's working. Instead, you're going to take, see this? And this will keep fruit flies out because it is sweet. It will attract fruit, fruit flies. So something like this works really well. Keep it in a cool, dark place. And um, kombucha is a combination of a fungus and a, it's a mushroom, and, but it's also a bacteria. They're, they live in harmony and happiness with each other. I use it as a replacement for an energy drink because it does have a lot of caffeine in it. However, I don't drink it very often and it makes me slightly tipsy because it does have, I think it says 0.05% alcohol in it, which is, I'm very sensitive to alcohol and so I don't drink it very often and um, it does mess with my head just a little bit. So I treat it more as a medicinal if I really need an energy drink, I will drink kombucha. John really likes it because he likes carbonated drinks and it costs pennies to make this. It's a lot cheaper than soda pop and um, it does have that beneficial bacteria in it. So um, usually I let it sit for about two weeks before we drink it. I like it in the sweet stage rather than in the sour stage. But if you let it go to the sour stage, you can use it as a vinegar replacement. Make sure to go check out Lari Family Homestead. I have them in the description and also in the link above and they are doing the sister project to this and hopefully you enjoy it and we'll talk to you later. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making switchel, also known as Haymaker's Punch. A little... Now this drink is very, very powerful. It has lots and lots of antioxidants, has vitamins and minerals, Ginger is known to help with cramps, acne, muscle pain, joints, 